Alright, so in this tutorial, I'm going to be turning creepy into cute. Um, a lot of people think spiders are really creepy, and I'll be honest, some of them are very, very creepy, but there's also some really, really cute spiders. So I'm just going to use the basics of character design to kind of uh, use a reference photo of a, uh, of a spider, and I'm just going to make it cute, and I'm pretty much going to follow the reference, but I'm going to add a little character design tweaks to give it some charisma and make it lovable and things like that so uh yeah stay tuned we're gonna do some spider drawing also i want to give a quick shout out to the instagram profile endlessfields.ch um Roman Willie, he's a photographer and videographer based in Switzerland. And that's where I found the photo of this uh, lovely spider that we're going to do the tutorial of. Um, really great photos, uh, amazing photos. I'll flash uh, everything on the screen. And uh, yeah, let's get to some drawing. All right, so we're going to practice a little spider. Firstly, I, I save everything from Instagram and then I bring it over to my iPad. So, insert photo. And for some reason, on Procreate, a lot of times when I hit insert photo, it freezes. So then I have to hit home and go back into it and then it, and then it works. Okay. Credit is always very important, so always make sure to keep the credit in there. I see he has two credit things, so I want to try to keep them both in. Oops. And since I usually make videos and they're horizontal, I'm going to make them a little smaller and put them right in the middle. That way when I draw here, I can try to contain it. So if I make a time lapse of it, I guess I don't need to make a time lapse since I'm doing this. All right, I'm talking way too much. You know what it is? I get a little nervous when I'm doing these because I feel like there's so much pressure all right so so they kind of have these do this on top so I'm gonna assume the head is gonna basically look like that and the body is gonna be back there And that's kind of the basic simple shape for the body. So. So we're trying to do that simple shape. Make the center line here. And then we have these really cute Oh, I'm gonna mess up the word. Palpalase, pal, palp, palp something. That's embarrassing. Oh well. I'll flash it on the screen. I probably already have. All right, so so they have these little cute little things here. They're almost like little fingers. And 
and they have these little hairs. So the hairs I'm kind of making like, you know, a little like designy. You know, you just make a little, because you don't always have to do this for hairs. Um, that can look good, but if I'm doing it cartoony, then I like to make it like, you know, make everything soft and round. So this looks like one of his arms. All right, so we're just gonna give him like, We're going to give him one arm here. And I'm going to make this a little thicker because it's like, oops. Make it a little thicker because it's in the front. So he has one leg here. His other leg seems to come from roughly the same spot. And it seems to come up like that. All right, so his other leg, he seems to come here. And then there's another leg right behind that one, so. One, two, three. So there's got some other leg somewhere else. It's a little blurry. I can't really see it, but that's okay. So we won't worry about that leg for now. Okay, so this is his front leg, which comes right around here. Seems to do this kind of thing. See, normally I would make it like a hand, but I only think I only think they have like little two. They don't really have any. Ooh, they do have these little these little clawsies. Interesting. Uh, I don't need to really make those. Since if I'm making him cute, those might come across as a little scary, so. But I'm gonna do his little, his little hairs. And I'm also gonna erase, just erase this sketch line away. So we have, okay, this leg comes around. So this leg comes around. And see how I kind of make these things, like anytime I make the hair, I sort of follow the curve. So his leg, his leg curves like that. So anytime I make the hairs, I kind of follow the curve. You know, I follow, say this curve right here, this curve right here, so I'm just gonna follow, 
follow that curve. You know, so I always go against, go with the grain. Even if I'm going to make his little hairs here, I just follow that curve. Okay, so it seems like he has his other legs are kind of that looks weird. So the other legs are kind of further back. Actually, I think this, wait, what is that? If this is the back of his body. So let me give him a little more, a little more booty. Am I allowed to say that on this program? Too late. Okay, so give him another, give him another leg further back there, and then we're just gonna fudge this leg since I can't really see it. So I can't really see it. We'll just make a little leg back there because obviously he has one. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Right, and these these palpales palpales things. I'm butchering that, I'm sorry. Um, they're not legs, so they don't really count in the... They don't really count. And he's on some sort of leaf... leafage. Just have fun and give him some sort of leaf to be on. Nothing too fancy. Alright, so now for the fun part the eyes. Should he be waving to us? So we're, I'm going to do this on a different layer because I really bad at eyes, so I'm gonna alright, so so he has this group of eyes here right, and then he has this little eye and this little eye and they sort of stick out his eyelid this is what gives him the, the personality the eyelid not lid the eyebrow kind of thing and then I'll just work with these circles kind of circles I always like I always use that center line to like kind of almond it out I don't know if that's a verb I guess it is now. So I kind of almond out the eyes a little bit. Alright, so these little... So 
You know, I like to raise them up, give them a little more, a little more oomph. his little spider eyebrows. Right, this is I always forget which layer I'm on and I have to flash them back and forth. I'm a bit of a dumb dumb. Let me give him some cute little under eye things. And so I don't know if I should do a big mouth or a small mouth. I'm getting ahead of myself. Eyes, okay. So. Sometimes I use the circle. Let's see how big that is. Oh, it's actually a nice size. Might be a little too big, right? Let me do this on a new layer. the little circle there and then I'll just merge these down and these little eyelids Kind of important that I do a lot is this little line so it shows that the eyes are coming out from here. I used to just do it over it and sometimes it looks good but I find that depending on what the animal is and how their actual eyes are like if I do it here it kind of pushes the eyes so that they're like coming out in a certain direction. Um, so that's something you can play around with uh, you know, and see what, what looks best on a case-by-case -case basis. Case-by-case. Case. Okay, so now for his little mouth. Now there's a lot, I'm just gonna merge that down. So there's a lot that I can do with his little mouth. I feel like, I feel like his mouth should be open, kind of. That could be kind of cute. And you have those little teethies.
that's kind of cute all right so that's another thing that I really like to do it on layers so you can sort of figure out you know you can kind of work through it because there's just so many options you can also like big mouth All right it's little teethies give them kind of a big mouth and a little like nose -ish, nose ish kind of like nub almost And you kind of just keep going until they feel right. This is what I do in my other, oops. This is what I do in my other creatures. I usually give myself a guide and I base it on, I do that teardrop thing. And then I, We'll use that as an option. Let's see, what else can we do here? Um, give him a sad face. What happens if we do like a co oops. What happens if we do like a kawaii type? It's really simple. It's actually kind of nice. Teefies? And you can also I can extend this a little bit. All right, so my phone got a little hot there, so I think I lost the last little bit. So, but all I did was pretty much made two lines here, so I could kind of make his cheeks. I'll just walk you through it. So I made these two lines here, and then I just erased. And then I thinned out his little, his little smile creases, because they were a bit unruly. And then I colored in his little side eyes. And just kind of gave them a little shape. All right, so now we should be back up to par. It's not really that straight. So let me just... Okay. So 
So I want it to be straight with both of his, you know, it has to be right down the middle, sort of. But let me get rid of... You can always erase these. Whenever lines start get, getting confusing, I just go back and erase them. Just get rid of them if you don't need them. I'm all about the sketch lines, but sometimes you really don't need them. And they start getting in the way. Just like kind of cleaning this up a little bit. Because if I was going to do line work, then I would come in and it's better to clean up some of this stuff you don't need, this information that you don't need because when you're doing line work you don't want to have to... I guess sometimes I don't mind you know kind of editing as I go and choosing which lines I'm going to use but if I'm really like if I'm working on a project then it's all really it's all about time like you just don't want to be wasting time so I don't I don't really waste time trying to work through it so I, I try to get through everything as early as possible so if I get rid of this information now then I don't, I don't have to second guess I can just mindlessly not mindlessly but you know what I mean shapes very simple So yeah, that's looking pretty good. All right, so. Okay, since I'm doing this, since it's just a sketch and I'm gonna keep it red, I'm gonna use my eraser and I'm gonna bring the opacity way down. And, you know what, I need to merge these. So I'm gonna merge all these layers together. That way I don't have to go back and forth and get confused. So, that's pretty good. So I just do my little eye jelly beans. And, actually usually first I would do the shadow, but that's okay. do the shadow now. The reason why I erase instead of using white is because since I'm not coloring it in, I'm just erasing and I lower the opacity to kind of get the lighter shade that the background is. That way everything is just red color. There's no added colors, there's no whites. It's just to kind of keep it just to kind of keep it cohesive. Because if I was to use white on it, um, 
and then I put it on a different background or a different color it's just I don't know I find it easier to just just use the erase and keep it all just the red tones and not add any extra colors to it okay what was I doing adding the shadow so the shadow I'll add bring the opacity down to about 30 And this is just a sh this is just a shadow, like above or below his eyelid. And all his eyes can have that. And likewise, all his eyes should have the same. Give them all the same little jelly bean. And raise the opacity up and give them the same little same little dash and I usually use sketch master 2 just to so under his whole eyelid be kind of shadowy oh I forgot to do eyebrows for those old ones so I gotta go back and do that and it's not a white spider so it's a little darker under here this is where the quick sketch quick sketches comes out of it not a white spider so I'll give him a, a shade darker nothing's ever usually like white so I always try to give everything a hue even before I do the shading I just kind of give everything a little hue and just darken up Some parts like he seems to have darker bits on the underside of his leg so I'll just kind of use that and he also has these like kind of stripes I'll give him black feet make his little stripies some of his little hairsies. All right, phone got too hot again. So this is where I kind of get crazy. I keep wanting to change I keep wanting to change things Why would he have freckles? I don't know, but I, I love it. All 
Alright, so I think that's pretty good. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Be sure to follow me on Instagram at Drug Free Dave, and you can follow me on TikTok at Drug Free Dave as well. And of course, please subscribe on my YouTube because that's where I post all my process videos and all my tutorials first. So make sure you subscribe on YouTube. Once again, thank you. I really appreciate it. And as always, keep drawing, and I'll see you in the next video. Sweet potato, potato, sweet potato, sweet potato, 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 potato, sweet potato, sweet potato, sweet potato, potato, sweet potato, sweet potato, sweet potato, potato, sweet potato, sweet potato, sweet potato. All right, that was good.